Hey guys and welcome to my channel. This video is kind of similar to another one I made a few weeks ago about how to create an automated status on Discord. But anyway, for this tutorial, in addition to obviously having Python, preferably the newest version, you'll also need to have the requests package. If you don't know how to install packages, then in the description below there is a link to a bit of documentation on how to install packages. Also, just a quick warning, doing this is against the Discord Terms of Service and this video isn't meant to promote Terms of Service violations. Now let's get started with the video. First you need to uh, create a folder, so I'm just gonna put this in my desktop and I'm gonna call it Discord Text Spammer. So I open that folder and inside that folder Inside that folder, I create a Python file. I'll call it Discord Texts, Discord Text Spammer .py. And it's important to remember the .py extension, the .py file extension. So the first thing you need to do is import requests. Then you have to create a variable called channel ID. So that's supposed to be that's supposed to be equal to the ID of the channel that you want to spam in so to get the channel id first you need to have developer mode enabled so to do that go into your user settings down into advanced and make sure developer mode is enabled over here and then on the channel that you want to spam in right click and go down to copy id so copy the id and just set it as like the value of the channel id variable next you have to create a variable called headers and it's, and it's supposed to be a dictionary and inside that dictionary there's supposed to be a, there's a key called authorization and the value for that key is your discord token so I'll just paste my token into there and the reason my token is the reason I covered my token is because your discord token is like a password it can be used to control your account so that's why it's supposed to be kept private if you do not know how to get your discord token there's a link to a tutorial on how to get one in the description below so check that out and after that uh, after that we actually have to create the file from which we're going to get the stuff to spam so I'll just create a file called text.txt and then to actually read the stuff from the file first you have to just set a variable called file and it's equal to open and then you put the name of the you put this function you write open and then after that you put the name of the file followed by r because we want to open it to read it and next we do lines equals file dot read read lines So this basically reads all the lines of text that are in this text.txt file. Next, we have to loop through each line in each each of those lines. So for a line in lines, over here we have to make the, an HTTP POST request to actually send a message. So do requests.post and then we have to enter this URL, it's HTTPS colon slash slash discord dot com slash api slash v9 slash channels and then we add an f in front of the string and then after channels another slash and then in those curly brackets you add in those curly brackets you add channel id which is this variable and after that you add slash messages now because this is a URL I'm, I'm just going to I'm just going to post up uh, I'm just going to put this as a pinned comment in the comment section and also in the description so you guys can just copy paste this instead of having to actually write it out yourselves in any ways after this URL uh, you have to set headers equals headers so this this is equal to this up here and then JSON equals and over here we actually have to we actually set uh, the text that we're going to that we're going to type into discord that we're going to enter into discord so that the JSON is supposed to be equal to a dictionary and the key in that dictionary is 
is content and the value for it is going to be line because we want to spam that line the line that we're currently looping through we actually need to have some text to spam so I'm just going to write this is some text this is some more text this is some more text and just some random stuff over here so save that and now I run my now I run my file and as you guys can see uh, when I came back into discord there was the text that was from the, the text that I put in the file is now in, in this channel and that's pretty much it so bye and have a nice day